Hello there everyone, it's Shiny Sparky14 and welcome back to more Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life. So last time we had, actually what did we do? We triggered a scene in our son's room which involved, well, a walking teddy bear, a moving teddy bear, let's just say that, a moving teddy bear, that's ridiculous. But yeah, I mean as realistic as this game is, there are some really fake stuff to it because that's actually one thing I haven't mentioned, oh yeah by the way, we're in the 8th year now, it's spring 2, but it's actually of the 2nd year of chapter 4. So we are, in fact, in the eighth year of the game. Anyways, as I was saying, um, despite how uh, how realistic this game is compared to other Harvest Moon games, and it's very realistic. For example, you can make hybrids. You can you can raise the uh, what do you call it? The the grade of the crops. You can um, oh yeah, the, the whole cow pregnancy thing. That thing is very realistic. Most Harvest Moon games are not like that. You, know, you just buy a cow, a female cow. Well. All cows are female, males are bulls, but you know what I mean. You buy a cow, and it's a baby, usually when you buy them, and then once they get big, once they grow up, you can milk them forever. Yet that is so fake. That is extremely fake. You know why? Because that doesn't happen. In real life, you have to get pregnant to start giving milk, whether you're a human being, or a cow, or whatever, you know? You need to give birth to a cow, to a calf. And yeah, that's how it works. But in this game, it's not like that at all. It's not. You know, if I try to milk you right now, it doesn't work because you haven't recently given birth. But if you're in any other Harvest Moon game, or most, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's other ones that I haven't played that use that realistic factor. But other games like, you know, Harvest Moon 64, the original Harvest Moon, um, Harvest Moon Magical Melody, and whatever, most of those are not like that. Or I mean, all of those are not like that. They're not. But yeah, um, what the hell was I saying? Oh yeah, so this game is extremely realistic, but if there's one thing in which it's not realistic, it's some of those ridiculous things like that bear walking. Are you kidding me? It's a freaking teddy bear. It's a teddy bear plush, or whatever you want to call it. It's a plush, okay? So you cannot tell me that a plush walks around. You know, Chucky, child's play, there's a reason why that is fiction, you know? Because in real life, it doesn't matter how, I, I mean, obviously there's a, that crazy effect, you know, like, um, you know how when you watch Child's Play, and, wait, what the hell? Oh, okay. Yeah, you know how when you watch Child's Play, and you're like, what the hell is this? A doll killing everybody? This is so, this is so bad. I mean, the first Child's Play was actually good. It actually had a really scary factor, even though it was just a doll. But then the future ones, you know, they had comedy, and you're like, the hell is this? It's a doll going around trying to kill people. This is so cheesy and corny. So you laugh at it when you're watching, and then what happens? It becomes nighttime. You know what? I'm going to need another mugwort. It becomes nighttime in real life. And you cannot sleep. You cannot sleep because you're thinking of that. You know, the movie haunts you despite how funny, and not really funny, I mean, how stupid the movie was. You begin to get nightmares because, well, yeah, you know, it's now affecting you. And also, my character is in a mugwort spree right now. He's really eating some food. Yeah, you know, that just happens. Then you're like, what the hell? Like, I thought the movie was supposed to be stupid, not scary, but then you, you know. But the point is... Even though it's all fake and, you know, you laugh at it, I can guarantee you that a lot of people would still not buy a Chucky doll and put it in their room. I am one of those. I just cannot do it. It doesn't matter that the freaking movie is fake. It's fiction. It doesn't matter. I would still not put it. Because it's scary as hell. It seriously is. I don't know why the hell I would put a Chucky doll and risk my life of me getting stabbed to death by that Chucky doll who is obviously not going to get up. Do you see the oxymoron or the ir irony on that? <laughs> oh my god. Seriously though. It's one of those great things about life, mysterious things to note. Like, I'm 100% sure that if I buy a Chucky doll and put it in my room, it's not going to stab me at night. But at the same time, I get this feeling that it will. Even though I just said that I'm 100% sure. It won't. You know what? Let's get another mugwort because we're on the mugwort screen. So yeah, you know, that's one of those crazy things about life. You want to know another? You want to know another crazy thing about life? Sure, I'll tell you. Um, 
If a tree falls in a forest and no one hears it, does it make a sound? That is a great question. You know what? I I'm going to sell some junk to you, Van, because, you know, I have stuff. Here, take these happy lamps. But yeah, really, does it make a sound? I don't know. I don't know if it does. It's hard to say. I mean, people will say, well, of course it makes a sound. Duh, I mean, seriously. But the philosophical point of it is, how do you know? You only know it makes a sound when you hear it. When a person hears it. You know? For example, let's say a freaking tree fell in some forest in California because I'm in California. Let's, let's just use that as an example. But no one was there. I can't say I'm 100% sure that that tree just made a sound. Because I wasn't there. I know that makes sounds when I'm there. I know that. For example, if this tree fell right now, this one right here, this one. If this one fell, my guy would hear it, right? Yes, but what if I was all the way over there, and what if everyone else in here in Vesta's farm and nobody else heard it, you know, they were all over there. Would that tree have made a sound? People would say yes, but how do you know? You can't prove it. You can only prove it makes a sound when you're right here, you know, and you hear it. But if you didn't hear it, you can't just assume that it made a sound just because it makes a sound when you're there. Do you, do you get the point? I love philosophy. I do. It's really amazing. And science really hates it. You know, I actually have a friend um, who is... What the hell am I doing riding around like an idiot everywhere? Well, seriously. I don't know what I'm doing. Actually, I'll go to the... Um, shoot. Where should I go? People, this is why this game sucks now. I don't know what to do anymore in these videos. That is why I'm so happy that we are in the 8th year. And we are very close to finishing up. You know what? I'm going to come in the bar, you know, and do some stuff. Yes, I was saying, I have a friend who is really smart and absolutely loves, yes, loves science. And then I ask her some philosophical question, and she's like, shut the hell up. Seriously, she hates it. Griffin is the only one who knows how to make the drinks. I'm going to give you a flower right here, even though you won't accept it. Wait, did you even mention it? Take your time. You know what? I mean, I have, let me see, 7482. Quite a lot of money. Make yourself at home. Do you want a drink or yes? I want a drink. So what do you have? I will have... Hmm. Moo Moo Milk. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's from Zelda. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Zelda's Lon Lon Milk. That's right. Not Moo Moo Milk. I want... I want Moo Moo Milk because, you know, those mugworts go really good with milk. No, they don't. That actually sounds disgusting, but... Whatever, you know, I'm, I'm okay. I will gladly drink this. Um, nom nom. Actually, it's not um nom nom, it's... Yeah, you know. Do that dirty sound of... Whatever. <laughs> I wonder how bad that sounds from the microphone. Oh my god, you guys are playing... But what the hell is that? Like, seriously, you're gonna be like that. So, I want another drink. <sighs> Let's see, what gets me drunk? Red Punch? No, that's Punch. What the hell is Moon Trip? I don't know. Moon Milk? No. Cherry Pink? Does that have alcohol? I don't know. Stone oil. That sounds disgusting, by the way. It's like you're drinking oil that you put in cars, but like, with stones on them. And like, oh my god. Sorry about the loud... What the hell is that? Oh, yeah, the garbage trick, of course. Cherry pink, you know, th this sounds like it has alcohol in it, you know, like, like you mix cherry with alcohol or something. Yeah, you know, it wasn't one of those things, th those glasses that are famous for having you know what I mean I mean come on my character is aging okay he has gray hair now I need to live life to the fullest I really do I need to live life to the fullest by experiencing some drinking even though in real life I don't do it but whatever I mean look at this forget me not valley it used to be so amazing it was wonderful. It was young people everywhere, and now it's a bunch of old people in here. The only exceptions are this girl, Lumina, um, Kate, Hugh, and my son. Here's my son, who now looks like me back when I was in the first year. Look at this. Hey, Dad. What, what do you want? Rock. What? Um, I'm going to show you... Ah, uh, whatever. You know what? I'm gonna show you this. 
When you brush, wait, when you brush, you should put your heart into it. Yes, I will. Misa, I'm gonna brush you and put my heart into it. Oh yeah, that was intense brushing. Alright, come on. You, not you. I'm gonna brush you. Actually, you know what I could do? I need to wash you. I need to wash you because you're dirty and then I need to... I mean, the thing is, at this point, do I really have to take out your wool? It's not like I need the money. I'm gonna spend the, the remaining of my money just, you know, drinking on the blue bar because that's like all there is. I'll just wash you though. There we go. You are nice and washed. Now it's time to, uh... I can wash you too. That's if you actually let me get in the freaking... Dude! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You know what? I'm not gonna... No. No, I'm just gonna brush you and get the hell out of here. Okay, so... 11 minutes. Um, This is kind of a waste of a video, but I mean, it does introduce the 8th year and that's kind of the title of it, you know, just to show that it's the 8th year. Plus, doing any less than 3 videos per year really does feel a rush. It, it already feels rushed enough. But at the same time, I'm sure many of you understand why, and that's actually because... There's freaking nothing to do in this game anymore. I got everything. I got my milking room, my food processing room over there, my pond, and everything else. So yeah, whatever. So I'm <sighs> just going to end the part, end the video here. So yeah, next time I'm going to be doing something new, something different, but we will still be in the 8th year. So thank you for watching. Goodbye, everybody, and until next time.